The electric eel is a species of marine fish, and it was classified as a knife fish that has the ability to produce electric shocks to stun its prey. This type of fish belongs to three main types, the electric eel, the electric eel, and the electric eel volta. This type of fish was found on the South American continent, specifically in the Amazon River and its tributaries. As for the strange and amazing part in this video is the description of the electric eel. The electric eel has many morphological and physical characteristics that distinguish it, and they can be summarized as follows. The electric eel has a long body similar to the body of snakes, and its length reaches 2.5 meters. And the tail area constitutes four-fifths of its total length. The electric eel weighs about 20 kilograms, and the males are usually smaller than the females. The body shape of the electric eel is described as cylindrical, with a slightly flattened head and large mouth. The color of the skin of electric sea snakes is gray, brown, black, and yellowish skin in the anterior abdominal region, and there are types of them with a purple, blue, or white color. Along the body of the electric eel is an anal fin, which it uses for locomotion. The electric eel's vitals are concentrated in the front part of its body, which makes up about 20% of its total body. Has gills, but it relies up to 80% of its mouth for breathing. The electric eel's body contains electric organs consisting of 6,000 electrocyte cells, which store energy. The skin of the electric eel is thick, to protect it from electric shocks, and it is isolated, as it may harm itself with electric currents if its skin is wounded. Although they are a type of fish, they do not have caudal, dorsal, and pelvic fins, and their bodies do not contain scales. The inner ear of the sea snake is distinguished by its connection to the air bladder through small bones, which makes its sense of hearing stronger. Follow with me, my dear, the video to the end to know where he lives, as this creature may live in your town and you do not know. The Habitat of the Electric Eel The electric eel lives in the northeastern regions of the continent of South America, especially in the Guyana River, the Orinoco River, and the middle and lower Amazon Basin, streams, and swamps. The electric eel floats on the surface of the water constantly to obtain oxygen from the air, and therefore this type of fish has the ability to survive in waters where the concentration of dissolved oxygen is very low. And the electric eel prefers to be present in river floodplains and coastal plains. The food of this unpleasant creature depends mainly on fish, and its diet also includes amphibians, birds and small mammals, and the electric eel does not have teeth in its upper jaw so it devours its prey by opening its large mouth and sucking the entire prey, and sends it directly to the stomach. The electric eel may eat some types of fruits that it finds falling from trees, and those hanging from the branches of trees that extend over rivers. As for the newborn electric eel babies, they feed on the eggs that the female electric eel lays in the nest in which they are located. Now let's get to know his behavior so that we know how to deal with him, so we may meet him one day. The electric eel performs several behaviors, including, issuing signals. The electric eel communicates with members of its species by sending weak signals from a member of its body. These signals also help it to attract a partner, find prey, self-defense, and locate foreign objects. He also uses them for guidance, especially since the eyesight of these fish is poor. Predation. The electric eel is a peaceful marine creature, but it may become aggressive when devouring its food and when defending itself. And then it is considered one of the strongest marine predators, and it is mentioned that it spends most of its time hunting its prey. Electric Eel Activity This organism is active at night and in muddy and dark areas. This is because they have poor eyesight, and the electric eel is often rigid and does not move, so that it can use all its electrical energy when it needs to hunt, and if it moves, its movement will be slow. Air Inhalation The electric eel rises to the surface to inhale air every 10 minutes. Solitary the electric eel tends to exist alone, but it may gather in a flock of snakes. The ability to swim quickly The electric eel has the ability to swim at a great speed of up to 8 km per hour. Catching an electric eel for its prey, the electric eel hunts its prey through electrocution. After locating the prey, the body of the electric eel produces an electric current of up to 650 volts, which causes an electric shock to the prey enough to make it freeze in place, but it does not kill it. It is worth noting that each electrical cell in the electric eel's body can generate about 0.15 volts, and the electric eel usually jumps out of the water to electrically shock the prey. It is noteworthy that the electric eel possesses this property because its body contains some characteristics that enable it to produce sufficient electrical energy to stun the preyer. Any object that tries to prey on or attack it, and these characteristics can be summarized as follows. 
The electric eel has three main organs. These organs generate high voltage pulses. These organs are the main organ located on the dorsal side, extending from the middle half of its body just behind the head, to the middle of the tail, and the hunter organ located on the ventral side opposite the location of the main organ, and the sac's organ located in the posterior quarter of the fish's body. Nervous System of Electrical Cells The electric eel has a nervous system that contains a number of electrical cells, which are negatively charged cells, and the inner periphery is negatively charged, while the deep inner cells contain a high concentration of positively charged potassium ions. A neurotransmitter to send a shock command. The electric eel can send a shock command to the electrical cells through a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. And the electrical cells in the body of the electric eel are stacked next to each other. So if the shock command reaches a cell, a chain of current arises through the other cells. Double the strength of the electric field, the electric eel can wrap around the prey if it is large or elusive, which helps it to double the strength of the electric field. In the end, if you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all new videos.